What's up, party people? It's your boy, KenFG, coming to you with another episode of Frambo. I think this is number six. I'm pretty sure. Who knows? Who cares? I got my little kitty, Mr. Midnight. I saved him, and we rode on a frog's back, a blown up frog's back, all the way across the seven seas, and now it's time to see what's next. Continue! All right. What is going on here, really? Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but a bit afraid of heights. Um, I could go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Do it, Mr. Midnight. You can do it. You're the boss. B -b 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 boss, boss. Yeah. What's going on? It's the Midnight. The never-ending tree branch of death and destruction. Mr. Midnight, what's the deal, son? Fran? Wait. <gasps> ah! No, you bitch! Get away from me! No! Why? Of course he would! He is the devil's bastard son of a preacher man! Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore! I don't want to die! You will die, my friend! Come on! You can do it! Jump! Alright, here I go! Oh! I got you! No! Fran, no! And he jumps! With his buddy Fran! If she's going to go, he's going to go too. No. Don't be afraid, friend. We'll always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my... Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and my father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. She's crying blood. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Whoa. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Ah! Freaking bloody vines capture me. They take me into the darkness. Why? What's going on here? My clothes are strewn about like I'm a cheap prostitute. Oh, what happened? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? I'm controlling the cat. I'm controlling Mr. Midnight. One of Fran's shoes. These are Fran's stockings. Oh! Ah! What's an ugly tree? I'll scratch you, evil thing! Kitty! Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Fran! My darling, is that you? I can't be! What is it? My dear, of course it's me! Who else would it be? Fran! You're a tree! Don't be silly! Help me get up! What the hell is going on, party peeps? Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What? But how? 
Oh my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this, I know it. Kitty, he won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back to his very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night that mom and dad cried. See, it's not, who's it? <laughs> Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you're a tree, my friend, a tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. I'm going to die, Kitty. Am I going to die? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. I love this freaking music. It's so awesome. It's like... I don't know. It like reminds me of an old haunted house. Freaking steam pipe organ, dude. It's so cool. Whoa! Homga! Ing Nimahura! Kurke! Kurke Yagrama! Pasakuhura ni! Ig ni dokulvanti! Ah! Be careful, sir! Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hakula! Hula! Stop it! I'll scratch you! Hula! Runama! Ing ni! What are they saying? Oh my kitty, what is happening to us? Hula! Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm! Hula ignivanti! Kitty, help me! Find my purse, please! Maybe I could do something about this! I'll see what I could do, Fred. I don't see a purse. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot! I can't really understand what you're saying. Um... An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Uh, where's your purse? I don't see your purse. What a strange shape. What is it? They speak. It may be a city. I don't see your purse. I don't see it. Oh, it's out there. What do I do? Ah, a bridge. What, what the shit? Oh, what the hell, man. Oh dear, I hope you found the purse already. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why not? Oh dear, do something. The bridge. There's a bridge and lots of water, and the bridge won't work as needed. Huh? That's perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep on rolling back. We'll do something, so they won't roll back on then. Roll back then. And Kitty, I love you. Thanks for, thank you for helping me, you're the best. Is there something I can, can I pick? The, ah, oh, I'll take the stone, it's shiny. Cool. Uh, use the crystal with these. So I can stick it in the gear. Oh, it's stuck. All right, grab it, then twist it, and then put the damn stone in. Cool, now I can get it. yippee ki yay motherfucker, in the worlds of Bruce Willis. <laughs> I got the purse, sweet, let's go back. Bullseye, motherfucker. Oh. What am I gonna stab his ass? <laughs> I 
use. I won't do this, okay. <laughs> no bloody knives. Show the picture. Put on me new hockey. Ah, put on me Oh, you're dragging her now. Huh? Where are you taking me, sir, vegetable? Grab her clothes. She's gonna be naked when they help her. I don't know. Can they help her? They want to help you, friend. I could feel it. Una, banama, hippo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Kalupma, Kalupma. Woohoo! Flight of the Boat with Vegetables on it. It's a new book. It's my next tape coming out. It's fire! Chapter 3, Vegetative State. How convenient of a name. Yes! Flying Vegetables. Where are we at? What are we doing? Let's do this. Yeah! Oh, snap. Look at this, dude. Uh, who's... It's with bull. Mano kaispe. Zai. Na hilo. Ho no. It is muy ptam gorska. It's a man with freo. Gorska. Zai ho. Welcome, creature. My name is Zai. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally words I can understand! My good friend Rai told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, little girl. The little girl. Please, forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Tell me, please. I'm a girl. Ho, ho, ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. If Tim, Molas Christ, et co, et co, bro, et co, prote. Woo! Magic little friendliness pellets. Wink, wink. Oh, stupid carrot root guy. Picking my seeds and shit. Oh, magic! Hmm, let me see. You are good. No doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. <laughs> Why does everyone know about me? Be quiet. <laughs> I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't leave. Let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Oh, there must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? Y you know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. That is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. 
That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, uh, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha 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 ha! You are hilarious! Yes, I am the king! The king of Ethersta! Oh, what an honor, your highness! By the way, I like your leaves, they are pretty! King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this a need as you going home so great? The sea told me your story! You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused all the time and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You're very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it is your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you very much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the Great Wizard can do that. But, we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, thanks for that lung ball you tossed right into my mouth. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what? I Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand me, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the one, the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fred. I love you. <laughs> oh, is that a beetle? Thanks, Mr. Beetle. <laughs> this is intense. I love it, dude. This freaking fantasy land, man. Does she, like, fall down and bump her head? Whoa. Valko! Oh, my God. The voice for this thing. Uh... Huh. Good day, my name is Palantris. I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, I just have that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand all of, that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Ah, a human. I think we can get of you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a bit further in order to fix that. 
Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me, I'm the beast, let's go. Oh, Valko! The never-ending story. Oh. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Volacus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing! So, when do I get my legs and arms back? Stupid, I forgot to turn on my phone! Alright! We wait until the water purifies the curse! In the meantime, we can talk! Alright, um, so... Who is this Volacus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? This isn't a good voice for him. I'm gonna try something better. Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to a third star, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to a third star? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But sir, but sir doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way, your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran, you wanted to keep your life, so you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but Pelagius, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you travel to your thirst, you open a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. I can't see this happening again, I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Uh, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran? Fran from Ethersta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. 
I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think you can fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Deer, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. i leave you at the station. And we are off flying through all realities on the back of the best looking fluffy dragon I've ever seen in my entire universe. Here we are again. So, Zaire the king, what a nice thirsty is you become. Thank you again, Doctor. You've met you have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Alright, party peeps. My mouth is hurting, uh, a little infection, but you know, there's the episode, I still did the full thing, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I love this, this is awesome, I love the turns this game is taking, such so magical and fantasy related, and wow, the characters we encounter are nuts, so I uh, just want to thank y'all. And uh, if you liked it, make sure you headbutt that like button like a tree would, and uh, Subscribe for your friends and for yourself. Follow me on Twitter. The link is always in the description. This is where you get the laughs. So make sure you get here and become part of the party platoon. And I want to thank y'all for diving through those internet cables to see me, KNFG. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Fuck that dude up. Fuck him up. <laughs>